Hello all, this video is on sending sensor data over CAN bus. The CAN board used here has a CAN controller MCP2515 which gives high and low digital signal and a CAN transceiver TJ1050 converts digital to differential signal. The CAN bus has got two wires CAN H and CAN L and it is a multi master setup. Any node can be a master. And the 120 ohms resistance is a must for end nodes which provides noise uh, immunity. Some controllers like ESP32 have inbuilt CAN controller and uh, they need only a transceiver like uh, uh, 2551 or TGA1050. Note the connection uh, between uh, controller and transceiver TX to TX or RX to RX. When there is no info on bus, both H and L are at half the supply 2.5 volt. This is recessive state bit 1 and when CAN H goes to 5 volt, CAN L goes to 0 volt. This is zero state. This is dominant state. Most of the uh, cars have this uh, CAN bus and BMW is the first car company to use CAN to reduce cabling and connectors. This is the CAN board available in the market which is very cheap. It has got a CAN controller MCP2515 which gives uh, high low digital signal and there is a CAN transceiver here it is TJA1050 there is also microchip MCP2551 here at 1050 is used which gives differential signal on, on the CAN bus CAN bus is just a two wires CAN H and CAN low there is also a 8 MHz crystal on board and a jumper is provided which when uh, when when the jumper is placed it gives 120 ohms uh, termination the 120 ohms resistor is on board you need not uh, uh, provide any separate resistor this resistor is a must for end nodes the connection between uh, this scan controller and uh, any microcontroller is through SPA the SPA bus is used MISA, MISO, uh, CS and uh, clock there is also an uh, interrupt pin here we will not be using the interrupt the connection between Arduino is uh, CS to D10, MOSA to D11, MISO to D12 and SCK to D13. Uh, the INT interrupt is not used here. So we will uh, remove that wire, INT wire. Uh, supply is 5 volt and uh, ground to ground. As uh, analog input, we will be using a potentiometer. The center pin of potentiometer is connected to uh, A0 of uh, Arduino. One end of potentiometer is connected to 5 volt and the other end to ground. So when you vary the potentiometer, the variable voltage is applied onto A0, which is read as an analog input. Let us see the uh, transmitter code first. Before that, we have to install the library. There are different libraries available in the uh, GitHub. The C8 Studio has got its own library for its uh, canvas shield. In this demo, we will be using Arduino MCP2515 library from AutoWP. The download link is given in the description below. Download the zip file uh, library and from uh, Arduino, go to sketch and then include libraries, add zip libraries. Browse to the location where you downloaded the zip file and then uh, click open. Now the library will be found inside documents Arduino libraries you can directly unzip the folder and copy it to this uh, location also documents Arduino libraries now under examples you can see the official uh, send and receive examples from auto WP we'll modify the uh, this sample code to our uh, requirement First, we'll see the transmitter code. In this code, we we define the potentiometer pin as A0, and then we define the structure. That is, uh, the library uses structure to store CAN frames. So we create uninitialized struct CAN frame, a variable called CAN MSG, and then we create object MCP2515 uh, by passing on the chip select pin as uh, 10. If you check up the library document, you can see the uh, structure uh, definition. The members of the structure uh, can be passed on later. The three members are there, can ID and the length of the uh, data, 
maximum up to 8 bits and then the message the members can be added later uh, this uh, in the void setup we uh, begin the serial communication uh, with baud rate 9600 and then we begin the spa uh, communication the object mcp2515 is uh, uh, we call the functions reset and then we set the bit rate that is a uh, can bus speed we set it as 500 kbps in the document you can see the other uh, speed allowed up to 1000 uh, kbps is allowed and uh, frequency we set it to 8 megahertz as on board there is 8 megahertz crystal we set it to mcp underscore 8 megahertz under set bit rate function then we uh, call the function set normal mode that is the mcp2515 is operated under normal mode now let us uh, pass on the values to the members of the uh, structure the first member is uh, uh, a can id as you check from the data format uh, of the structure first member is can id second member is the uh, length of uh, data uh, dlc the third is the actual data the can id you can provide any hex value this is user defined Uh, you can provide your own hex uh, value for can id and uh, dlc length of data we use here is only 1 byte a maximum up to 8 bits can be used so dlc we declare it as 1 uh, byte and under void loop we give the uh, analog read value to pot value and uh, map it to 0 to 255 the value read is 0 to 120 1023 we convert it to 0 to 255 and the third member of the uh, structure we provide to uh, provide the pot value and then we use the send message function to send the can uh, can message over the can bus now let us see the receiver side the receiver side we use an i2c lcd which has got only two wires apart from vcc and ground it has got uh, sda and scl wire so the connection between microcontroller is uh, very easy and here also we use a can controller board so for communication we need two controller boards 2515 boards in this receiver board also we uh, terminate the jumper for uh, 120 ohms uh, termination and the connection between uh, uh, arduino and uh, the can controller is through spa connect the uh, receiver side uh, can uh, can board to transmitter side uh, can board the connection is straight can h to can h and can l to can l generally a twisted wire is used for demo we are using a, a jumper wire so this is the full setup the transmitter side uh, we use a potentiometer and a, a can controller board at the receiver side another can controller board is used and an i2c lcd is provided for the display the i2c lcd has got only two pins sd and scl which is connected to arduino a4 and a5 now let us see the receiver side code here we include mcp2515.h and then the liquid crystal library we have to install the liquid crystal library use the library manager and search for i2c lcd uh, install frank d prebandas uh, library which is very simple one the link is given in the uh, list, uh, description below or you can use the library manager once the library is installed use uh, create the object lcd using the i2c address and then the size of the display 16 by 2 and then we uh, create uninitialized struct can frame variable called can message and uh, we provide the chip select pin 10 for the object mcp2515 under void setup we initialize the lcd and then the backlight and then we begin the spa and uh, mcp2515 is uh, reset and then the set bit rate to speed and uh, frequency and then we make it as to operate in the normal mode and inside void loop we use the read message to read the incoming can message and we check for the id and then the data we have only one byte of data that is the potentiometer data that is uh, uh, at the data zero 
that is uh, given to the LCD to print. So uh, upload this code and uh, at the receiver side I do see LCD you can see the display that is a potentiometer value is displayed when you vary the potentiometer the value changes from 0 to 255 on the receiver side I to see LCD so we have sent only one analog data from the transmitter now let us see how to connect multiple sensors we'll add a, a LM35 and then a switch a door switch to the uh, transmitter at the transmitter side apart from the potentiometer already the potentiometer is available at A0 let us connect the LM35 data pin to A2 the first pin of LM35 to 5 volt and the third pin to ground the center pin is connected to A2 this is also analog uh, data and then we use a door switch that is a magnetic door switch when uh, a magnet is, comes near the switch it closes and it operates as a switch a high is uh, created when the door is closed and this is used as a digital input to D6 pin so this D6 pin should be declared as input pin when the door switch is uh, closed the high is applied and the LM35 data to A2 and the potentiometer data to A0 let us modify the transmitter code in the transmitter code already we have uh, defined the potentiometer pin at A0 let us define the LM35 pin to A2 and uh, door switch to digital pin 6 and then we use some variables uh, integer variable to hold pot value and a float uh, uh, variable to hold LM35 and we create an initialize struct uh, CAN frame variable called uh, uh, CAN MSG1, CAN MSG2 and CAN MSG3 we have to create uh, uh, three variables for each one se for the sensor one for port message another for LM35 and the third one for door uh, switch then we pass on the chip select pin uh, 10 to the object MCP2515 and under void setup we initiate the object MCP2515 we reset it and uh, set the bit rate and to normal mode and we send the members we pass on the members to all the three messages uh, can id and the can uh, dlc can id is user defined you can provide your own hex value and the can dlc is the length of the message it is maximum up to eight bytes are uh, allowed uh, we use uh, a potentiometer data two byte and uh, this uh, lm35 one byte and the door switch two bytes it is optional a maximum up to eight bytes allowed and under wide loop we calculate the uh, temperature value uh, uh, through analog read and then we map the potentiometer value temperature value is converted to celsius and then we convert to integer as uh, only integer is allowed to send us message float is not allowed we convert to integer so that the float value is truncated then we pass on the third member to the struct that is a data member for all the three messages msg1 msg2 and msg3 finally we use the send message to send the data over canvas now let us see the receiver side the receiver side code modification uh, uh, already we have included the liquid crystal library and then we uh, in initiated the liquid crystal display and uh, uninitialized uh, struct for uh, all the three messages and uh, under uh, wide setup we initiate the object mcp2515 using the uh, reset set bitrate and set normal mode uh, functions and under void loop we use the read message function of mcp2515 to verify the incoming data and if no error is there we check for the id and then the uh, extract the particular data data 0 has got the potentiometer value data 1 has got the uh, uh, LM35 value and uh, second uh, data 2 has got the switch value these three values are uh, displayed on the I2C display now uh, upload this code to the receiver side and on the I2C LCD you can see the 
uh, all the three data sensor values first is the potentiometer value when you vary the potentiometer this is the potentiometer value changes from 0 to 255 and then the lm35 value uh, we have truncated uh, the float value and we have converted to integer so only the uh, integer value is displayed and then the door switch position 1 or 0 1 means closed and 0 means open so all these three sensor values are transmitted using canvas and displayed on i2c lcd thank you for watching